It's well known that I play a lot of Minecraft. I've actually played it since the very early versions of Alpha. Every single time I make a new world though, I always want to make a massive base, all possible farms, transform locations like the stronghold, but I never get to it. It takes so long and it's difficult to keep people interested in your world for you to complete all of those. Until right now. This series, I'm planning on having it run until I run out of things to do on a single Minecraft world. So now I can finally accomplish all of those goals I've always had. To make sure I can, this isn't hardcore. Kind of tired of that gimmick and I don't want to lose this world because I make an oopsie poopsie mistake and there goes thousands of hours of progress. Now for the obvious task for today, it's time to get started in this world and make a base. Oh boy. Oh God. I, I had to get one of the absolute worst spawns possible. Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. So I just want to try out the beginner chest because honestly I've never actually done or not done I've never actually used this before in Minecraft and I'm just curious just how fast it will actually allow me to uh, move along uh dear god this is literally the worst spawn for me possible I hate snow biomes because I could fall and die at any moment because of powdered snow uh, the spruce is actually pretty good we probably should collect one of the saplings here and for anyone wondering I'm playing on the mod pack that I'm using for the main channel's hardcore series, so if you see similarities on everything that I'm using, that's why. It's definitely not because I was too lazy to create a new mod pack and version and all that stuff, and I'd you know, just rather use things that I've already used in the past, and I'm just yapping. Oh dear god! Uh, we need to somehow get through Santa Claus's icy wonderland, and hello you guys. Yes, hello my beds. Okay, 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 come on. Oh god, okay, oh god. You know what, actually, don't mind me. I'm gonna go and get just straight up to iron tools, I think, because why not just skip to that part? Oh my god, oh my god, almost died. Oh, okay. Oh my god, I don't know why I was doing that. Oh, that was so incredibly stupid of me. Okay, there we go. Much better. I actually have all iron tools, made myself some leather boots, so now I don't need to worry about powdered snow, and I keep hearing enemies. Now, I feel like I should mention one thing, and that's probably very obvious that you've just noticed, is that I'm not in hardcore. And another thing was, is that I don't want to do Minecraft content on this channel. But a part of me just really wants to do a old fashioned, like traditional Minecraft let's play. So I want to be, you know, not in hardcore so I don't have to worry about dying and then losing all of my progress. You know, like it, it's fun. It's just over the years that gimmick gets really old, you know? Especially since I have a hardcore series. It's on the main channel. You know, a lot of you know it. A lot of you found me through it. However, I feel like I can only upload videos of it on the main channel if it's like a humongous project. You know, just massive work. And with this one, I just want to be able to upload just fun episodes. I don't want it to be like, okay, I have to go and hunt down every single animal and then, you know, I can finally upload a video. Plus, I kind of really want to hit all of those like ideas and goals that I've had in my hardcore world. But you know, just right now, like I want to go and make every single farm. I want to make mega structures. Like I, I want to terraform an entire biome. Like I, I just want to do fun stuff like that. And I feel like it would be a lot more fun if I did it like on a, uh, a bi-weekly Minecraft series on this channel. So very hopefully, if everything goes according to plan, every other week, you guys should have a new Minecraft episode on this channel. And then every other week, you know, the, the weeks that aren't the uh, this series, we're going to be doing like a new game and then hopefully doing like a series on another game like Pal World, if you guys want more of that. Ooh, hello. Even though I know that down below there is a overgrown or uh, lush forest. I, I forgot what it's called, but yeah, no, I don't care for that. Mainly, I just want to find a really nice spot because because in the main series, I have the Autonator. I want to build a giant pyramid in this one. And when I say giant, I mean either the same size as the Autonator or bigger than it. So I'm going to build something absolutely monstrous. Oh my god, can I get out of the snowy area? Here we go. At least with this way, we can actually get through this a whole lot faster. Oh! 
my god. Oh, okay. Oh, hi. Okay, sweet. I was actually really tempted to just make a new world if we weren't going to find anything, but finally. Now, let's see. What do I care about taking? Let's take the potato. I don't think I care about pumpkins. Oh, actually, here. We should go around and take every single torch. I'm just going to loot this entire village. Ooh, thank you for this. I don't remember. Oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Now, I don't remember if I had a backpack mod installed in this, but I kind of really hope that I do. I'm already running out of space. This really sucks. Where are all the villagers? This is so creepy. There's just... Okay, there we go. Okay, okay. There's actual villagers here. Hi, I almost just hit you. That probably would have been really bad for me. Oh my god. Hello, I love you. Oh, do I dare? I think I do. Hi, bud. Okay, now please don't hit me. I usually go up four blocks, so I'm testing out three. I just really want your iron so I can make myself a bucket. Yes. Okay, sweet. Okay, now we can actually travel around pretty safely. Let's see, do you guys have any carrots? I usually have a really hard time with finding those in the other series. I'm... I'm kind of scarred. Ooh. Oh. Yes. Hello, blue bed. Thank you. Got a cool color now. Okay, well, I think I actually looted everything that I need from this village. We just need to keep going. Oh, my God. I'm actually getting really close to just making a new world. The fact that I'm still just in snow biomes is insane to me. I could be traveling backwards like back to our spawn but i don't think that i am i mean ideally it'd really help if i would just go to a mountain and then i could just look out around and then just see which area the snow actually ends oh yeah i'm pretty sure this is powdered snow pretty sure i would have been falling right there if i didn't have the boots oh my god dude there's no way is my entire world just snow there's no way oh my god it's just snow that direction uh, okay, wait, there might not be snow over there. Okay, we're gonna head that way, but I think on day three, because, like, right now we're on day two, if I don't find something other than snow, I think I'm actually just gonna go and make a new world. I mean, you know, we've, we've had, like, a little start, but honestly, this doesn't take any time to get this far in Minecraft. It's so easy. Oh my god, it never ends. Uh, there's so much snow. Uh, I want to get to a real biome. I hate this place. I don't want to play in Wisconsin. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. We found real land. Oh, yes. Oh my God. We can actually play. Okay. Now we're talking. So, I mean, ideally right here is actually a pretty decent spot because it's very flat around here. So I don't have to do too much terraforming. However, unlike the main channels, hardcore series to where I made the ground entirely flat, a part of me actually really wants to just not touch the land and then to build with it. So if I were to build here, I would actually just, you know, raise the ground. Like I put like stone or something. So it looks like I actually put down a foundation for the pyramid. The only time I would terraform is like if that mountain was in the way of my building, then yeah, at that point I'd, you know, trim it a little bit. But instead of just choosing, you know, the first place that we see, I feel like we should continue running around. I also got the village, but I feel like I should run around and actually find like a really, really cool spot to build. Oh. I mean, realistically, we might be lucky and there might be one guardian temple out there so I can have those nice building blocks. We have multiple different tree types around here. I'm pretty sure spruce, birch, and oak. Village right here, so whenever I need to do anything with villagers. The biggest thing is I'm not seeing a desert. It's one issue with this world so far, and that... Until I make like a, a gravity block farm like duplicator, that'll be an issue. Oh, and I want to specify me doing this series does not mean that the hardcore series on the main channel is done. It's just all videos that I have planned for the channel, like with that series, they're just huge and they take a very long time. Oh, yay me. Another village. Do you guys have any emeralds for me to steal? Yes. 
There we go. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm not interested in any of the locations over there, but it seems like the more that I run this direction, the less snow there is, so I'm very excited. And hello. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. It's just, I don't know, like, I... I'm just thinking of the long run, you know? Like, I, I want to have, like, like a hundred episodes in this series. Like, I, I want to go super duper far. And none of these locations are just looking cool enough for me to actually, like, want to build a lot of things on, you know? Like, I don't know what I'm looking for, but I'm not finding it. Okay, that was good. Actually, here, I think if we run this direction now, we might find some cooler spots. Don't miss. Okay. Oh my Jesus Christ, okay. I don't know why that scared me. I, I wasn't expecting them to, like, to be this far away from the tower. I I don't know why that startled me. That that was pathetic. <laughs> oh, it's another village. Oh, no, I can't stay here. I can't loot this. I, I want to actually find a nice place to live. I don't know. I mean, like... I'm, I'm just... I'm very close to just starting a new world. Like, I, I'm not... A fan of this world generation. I feel like I got one of the unlucky seeds. Okay, I, I feel like I got one of the unlucky ones. What is that? That is very unique. But it's just like, eh. Like maybe that could be cool. It's just I care about the biome because back in the hardcore series, I'm in a swamp because I was too too much of a silly goose to actually leave spawn when I first started. And I want to have like a nice uh, oak area. I don't know, Chief. I mean, you know, we, we have like a decent start here, but I feel like I should actually try out several other worlds and then just see if I can have like a, a better spawn. I'm just, I, th this ain't doing it for me. Yeah, this this ain't doing it for me. I wish I could say that I'm joking. I I literally... I just created this world. This is even worse than the previous one. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, just, wow, okay. Uh, raw? Uh, yeah, give, give me a little bit. You know what, I, I might even just look on Google for some cool seeds. Uh, at this rate, I'm just cursed with only getting stupid snow and ice biomes. Like, this, this sucks. Okay, I think... I think I found a good one. Okay, this wasn't exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> okay, but wait, wait, okay. So just, just hear me out, okay? Why did I only get two instead of four? Now, the reason why I picked this one, one, I wasn't aware that it was actually gonna spawn me right into the desert, but this is actually pretty close to the area on why I chose this seed. So that's actually really nice that we have this desert. This should actually make it so easy if I wanted to make a lot of concrete. Wow, this place is huge. It's like Darman's forehead. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, that's a warm ocean over there. Oh, oh yes, 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 that's a warm ocean. Okay, but relatively this way, there's a special village, which I found it really funny. To where apparently there's only two villagers, one building, and one farm. That's it. Like, it's, it's a very weird village. But... If you notice the surrounding areas... Oh, dude! We got a jungle down there! So we have a jungle, we have a savanna, desert, regular area, plains, and then I think there was a ocean? Yeah, 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 the warm ocean's that direction. Nice little lava pool so I can make another portal immediately. Oh, and even like right here, this is like a nice spot to build. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of this. Ooh, here, like, let, me, let me kill you guys. Especially so I can get my bed, because I don't know if there is one at that village. <gasps> oh my god, there's bees. Oh, there's bees here. I mean, they're gonna go away without a doubt in my mind. Wait, is this where your beehive is? Yes, it is. Okay. Eh, I'm not stressed about it, whatever. You know? I'm not gonna need bees for a while. I only need bees when I'm just going to be working with villagers, and we're definitely not doing that this episode. And ladies and gentlemen, and f folks, and I don't know where I'm going with that. Okay, so here's the village. Let me just, you know, keep on looting everything that I find. But according to Google, oh, oh my god. Oh my, wow, this is so bizarre for me to see. So yeah, here's the two villagers. The one iron golem, because that's what villagers do. 
There is one house. Oh my, wow. Yeah, there's just, just one house, one farm. Oh, this is insane. <laughs> oh, it's so funny to me just to see like just how destroyed this place is. But look at the area. There's another village right there. Okay, well, that kind of diminishes the value of this place, but oh my God, just look at the entire like world. We could probably get some pandas over there, so I'm very excited for that one. There's so much we could do. There's also a destroyed nether portal right there, so we're very set there. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see... Oh, and there's another jungle all the way out there. I can definitely see... Why, why is there a water spout right there? Myself treating this as like a very long time series. I... There's so much around us that this will most definitely be easy to go on for a long time. I can build so many different buildings everywhere. Oh, hello. Hey, hey, sweet. Don't need to go anywhere for like all of these. Okay, let me take that. Actually, you know what? I will take the PP bed. There we go. It's already broken in for me. Now I don't need to pee my bed because someone else did that for me. It's kind of like shoes, you know? Like when you get a brand new pair of shoes, it kind of hurts. So you have to break them in. It's the same thing for a mattress. It's just not going to be comfortable whatsoever until, like, you know, you break it in. Oh, and we got the Badlands all the way down there. And another desert. Never th oh, my God. I love the distance mod, by the way, if you can't tell. Like, just being able to actually see all of this, love it. It's amazing. This is how Minecraft, like, vanilla Minecraft should be. Now, before we do anything... I mean, I kind of want to trap the villagers because I really don't want you guys to die. Even though it really doesn't matter because apparently you have relatives right over there. Stop trying to kiss me. You have relatives right over there. It's so actually here. Let me, let me just pick you up just like that. Here you go, Pookie. Yeah, you can... No, wait, no, no, wait, no. Sorry. Okay, wait. It's awkward. You, go back in there. Okay, where's the other? There you are. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I forgot I do that a lot. I, I'm sorry. I completely forgot that it would do that. Okay, so don't mind me, but we need to go and get tools again, and it looks like this is going to be a decent cave that doesn't have anything that I may- Wait, it has everything that I need? Okay, good. Oh, right, yep, don't mind me. It's time to go and start the world again. Huh? Wait, there's a third? How did you get born? There's supposed to be only two. That's what it said on Google. Or did you somehow get out? No. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess there's actually three villagers here, not two. Unless you naturally spawned in, which I don't think is actually possible. Okay, well, I almost have every single tool iron. It's just, I don't know why I'm having the hardest time finding iron around here. So I think our next goal is I want to find the exact spot that I'm going to be building, which it's definitely going to be around here. It's just, I actually want to start on our actual base. I don't want to build anywhere near the savannah though, because I don't want that like dry looking biome with our base. And yes, I know that there's an iron golem right there and I could just get that iron from him and then make the tools. Blah, 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 I don't care. Like, I'm envisioning the future, and I think with a little bit of terraforming and just, like, making some, like, like uh, roads and platforms around here, this might actually be a pretty golden spot. Plus, we're right here. That is a really tiny warm ocean, but, you know, we, we do have one right there. Kind of curious if we could find a guardian temple immediately. We'll do that exploration later, but nice. We actually do have some coral here, which I have a feeling I might have to make some TNT duplicators for some buildings. Because, you know, I, I will most likely have to make a giant hole. But I think this is a pretty decent spot. At the very least... We can make this just our starter place, and then in the future, whenever I get an elytra and I'm flying around, if we find a better spot, we could just build the the real bases there. But I think, I think this is a good one. I think I'm pretty happy with this. It's just gonna be so much work. Or maybe I do flatten the entire area. I don't know what I'm feeling like yet. But here, let's just start plopping down everything up here. Get that. Finally clear out my inventory space. Okay, there we go. So I went through and I got at least like two of all the basic animals. Just gonna keep them in there. That's for the future because knowing me, I like to run around and then just, you know, tickle every single animal. I like to unalive them all 
just get all their food and all the resources, blah, blah, blah. So this way I never have to worry about actually running out of all these animals. I kind of like, before we get into all of the basic stuff, like actually building a house, building a farm for the animals, all that stuff. Oh, and a portal. I kind of want to explore the areas. Oh, we should actually go immediately to the jungle this direction. Not the one all the way out there. That's too far for me. Even though I'm pretty sure the distances are actually the same. I kind of want to get a horse as well. I've never really played Minecraft with like using mounts and like having, you know, animals to get around fast. Same with uh, minecarts. And for whatever reason, I kind of want to see how long I can go without killing the ender dragon. So without a... Uh, I have no bucket. Uh, I mean, like, I do want to get a bucket immediately, but I want to see how long I can go without going to the end and killing the Ender Dragon. Because I feel like we can have a lot more fun with the world if I make it to where I have minecarts going everywhere and I have, like, an animal that I have to use to, like, get around the entire map. Like, I feel like it, it might be at least more fun or it might be more immersive. And I don't know. I just, I... Uh, I kind of want to see what happens with that because I've never actually played like that before. Because usually I just like to rush an elytra and that's how I get around my world super fast. I'm also trying to like cut any urge that I have to kill that iron golem. Oh dear god, is it impossible to find iron here? Oh dude, and then also if we make some pack mules, we can put a chest on them. So if we want to like travel around and loot a lot, we can actually use that. It might be a little annoying, but I think I can also just like lead some mules with leads if we have to go super far, just so I have like a lot of chests chest because I won't have shulkers. Oh my god. Oh, nice. Okay, we have an abandoned mine shaft right next to our house. I kind of want to make this the mining area then. I feel like that'd be very smart. You know, we built some some nice aesthetic wooden staircases going down. That's one huge thing that I really want to try and stick for their, uh, stick to for this entire series is anything that we do. It's a lot faster, you know, to just rush and then just, you know, make a bare bones farm and, you know, buildings and stuff. But I want to make everything like pretty thought out and, you know, actually take time on building things, make the world very aesthetic. I want to make it all look pretty. Don't worry, I didn't say beautiful. Because I kind of want to make this world, like, my baby, you know? Like, I, I want to make this place, like, very thought out and take care of it. Like, I, I don't just want to, like, just rush things just to do it. Now, here's a stupid question. Are you able to craft saddles? Like, I'm pretty sure you can only get saddles from dungeons, right? Hello, beautiful. You wouldn't happen to have any iron on you, would you? Even if I say pretty, pretty, please? Pretty, pretty, please. And hello tools. Okay, sweet. Finally, we can make the shovel and we can make the bucket and a mop for that wet. Oh, hello. Okay, let me take all of you. Don't want to drown. Ooh, okay. Yeah, let's see. Don't care. Oh, hey, look, we already got bamboo and we already now have moss. And I'll bite, you know, I'm down to... Okay, maybe I'm down to go on an adventure. Actually, no, we... First... Let's just go to the uh, the jungle because we are right here. And then I need to go drop off everything. And then we'll do the treasure map. I want to find a panda. Oh, I wonder if I put, if I get a mule and then I put chest on him and then I put items on the chest, am I able to pick up the mule and all of the stuff? like in those chests which then like the only reason why that would be somewhat useful is then i wonder if i pick them up if i can then ride another mule and then i can have like even more storage for whenever we go out and explore i wonder if that's like an actual possibility because that would be really really nice is this world allergic to making iron whoa okay We could probably do something up here, you know, make a pretty fun minecart track all the way up here. And it doesn't seem bad. Probably do like a fun mining thing up there as well. So I was looking around for some pandas, very sadly, just like every other Minecraft world, it doesn't appear that we're going to be getting lucky. I don't know why pandas are so rare in jungles. Really just doesn't make sense to me. Man, all of these bamboo places and no panda. Darn. I don't know if it is possible, but I'm pretty sure it is because this did happen in my hardcore world. But I think the pandas can actually just naturally spawn in here over time. 
but darn, because like I, I actually do really want to collect two pandas and then build a place for them. So at some point, I will be traveling around trying to find them, but at least we did get some bamboo so we can make a nice stick farm, because I am definitely going to be needing that for the villagers. I mean, I could steal a turtle. We don't have to go home empty handed. You know what? Actually, no, I will be taking this turtle. Why not? We do also need you for some farms in the future. We just need to find another turtle somehow in the future. Okay, don't mind me. Time to return back home. This is so weird to actually see my skin without any armor on. Like, I completely forgot that that cloud was on my back. Like, every now and then I'll actually remember it, but yeah, we have quite a ways to travel. He's so adorable because it's like he's just holding his arms on. He's just flying. Another good thing about building mega structures is that at least then you can find your base from super far away i'm pretty sure my base is this direction i mean if i'm ever lost i just have to kind of run back to zero zero Phew, okay finally no more turtle butt in my face then okay good you're finished my god do we have a lot of food okay finally we have every single tool and then let's okay wait, that's actually strange wait i was that close to it and then for anyone that's ever curious on how you can actually find the treasure from these maps very easily. So if you press F3 and then you look right here, so you're going to want to face north because every single map, like when you're looking at this, that's like it, it, the top part is north, bottom is south, blah, blah, blah. So what you want to do is just face north and then you can really tell on the map. So for me, I need to go northwest a little bit. So really it should be about there. And then you can tell that you're getting closer, at least if you're like, you're going in the right direction because that little white dot in the bottom right, that's me. So then the bigger it gets, that means that I'm getting a lot closer to actually appearing on the map. And then once you're right there at the X, what you're gonna wanna do, here's a fun little trick just so you can find the chest a lot faster. So you're gonna wanna face the North. So then the little tippy, yeah, the little tippy top of the white icon right there. And then boom, you're going to want to go to the bottom of the X, just like this. And then you're going to want to leave one little pixel of white. So you're going to make sure that you're nice and centered on the X, one little pixel of white. And then you just look straight down and then boop, the chest should be right there. And then there you go. It's like the easiest way to actually find this treasure. And hello, not, not the worst, could be better, but not too shabby. And then there we go, and now I get to go all the way back home, and God, I really was right here. I mean, I wouldn't have had the space to actually pick up all of this, but, you know. Oh, well, at least we get to explore. You know what? I do want to try that. I'm just going to keep a mule with me. Actually, I should probably go get two, because then I can keep on breeding them until I get, like, a nice fast mule. Okay, finally back home. Everyone's situated. I think we're finally good. Oh, oops. And you know what? Here, since I have so much iron, let's make you. Even though I have a leather one, but oh well. Actually, wait, before we do anything, I need to go get a second mule. And it doesn't look like I'm gonna get lucky and find any around here. I'm just trying to be like really kind to future me because I know whenever I'm gonna need to like do anything with any animal, it's just gonna take forever to find them. So, since they're still all around here, because the world is brand new, it's like, why not just go around and actually uh, get all of these guys? I should also really get some bees. Those guys seem to be really annoying to get in the future. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, here. We're, we're gonna get the mule, and then we're also gonna capture the bees, but I need to make them a little spot that they won't get out of, but yeah, no, I just, I, I really don't wanna miss out on those. Oh, wait, no, I still need to get honey, so I need to get those bees to go back to their normal, uh, beehive, and then get honey that way. Okay, you know what, here, I might as well pick up some flowers, or just a flower. Um, donkey, where are you? I have a dragon, there we go. So you just gotta offer the dragon, and then they always come out, you know, they works uh, it worked on the last one okay there we go and i got a second one of the nice wait did that just spawn? oh my god that just spawned in four holy oh my god i don't i don't think i've ever had that many spawn from one egg like ever that, that is most definitely a first for me holy oh wait 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 okay before we go out i also need to make some shears because I need them to actually get some honey in the beehive so I can shear it, get uh, some honeycomb, so that then I can go and make my own beehive, and then we need to bring, uh, bring the bees home. 
Now there's so much to do. Oh wait, I feel like I should actually make the spot to hold the bees first. And then we go and do all that stuff. So since I have so many planks, let's do this. I need to make a door, which we should hold the bees right here. Why not? There we go. It's beautiful. I know. Please hold the applause. Okay. Now I'm ready to go and get those bees. And then I think that's kind of all the grindy stuff, like all the boring animal parts out of the way. I, I don't think after this, like other than a horse, but honestly, there's so many around here. Like I don't need to worry about them at all. Plus there's like seven right at my bed for some reason. Okay, so you're over here. You're doing a fantastic job. However, I know that you're not going to find this beehive over here because your pathing is terrible. There you go. See, you got some nice flowers right over here. Oh, okay, good, good. There is a bee in that beehive, but is there any more around here? Or are you all really good and you're actually like next to your beehive? Okay. Very good. I believe the bees are all there. Basically now it's just a waiting game. Please do not leave your hive. Come on. You have flowers back there. What are you doing, bud? Oh dear God, this takes so long. Please just make honey, please. Oh my God, it's actually done. Oh dude, I was on Twitter. Oh, oh yes. Yes, you bees are finally done. Yes. Okay, so let's just remove that. So I have easier access because I'm gonna have to do this and then run. Okay, see, I figured it was just two because I was taking like incredibly long. I'm pretty positive you can actually have like four bees in one hive. So let me pick up you. And then actually here, this will uh, help shorten the time that's gonna take me to like run you guys to the place. And never mind, I spoke too soon. I was gonna say I'll lead you guys to the house, but never mind. Very luckily, it seems like you guys. Never mind. It's gonna say it seems like you guys are gonna be leading each other there. Okay, can you relax? There we go. Okay, but come here. Thank you. Okay, now we need to be very fast before the other one gets lost. These, these guys are so incredibly silly. You know, they're just they're literal toddlers. Which now saying that out loud doesn't really sound good because now I'm stealing toddlers. Okay, can you can you, uh, toddlers see exactly? Okay, so. Go there, don't leave. Yeah, that sounds so weird. Not a good look. Okay, thank you so much for not flying off. You are actually amazingly easy to work with. Okay, toddler number two has been secured. I can't. God, it, would it be weird if I were to get two name tags? You know, like I go and set up the uh, villagers, buy it from, you know, the librarians, and then, like, it, it, theoretically, you know. Like, let's just say I were to name this bee that I'm holding toddler number two, and then the bee that's inside of here is toddler number one. Would that be weird? Or would that be a pretty funny joke? Because the only reason why I'm even bringing that up is strictly just because bees in this game literally act like toddlers. Like, they just, they get lost for no reason. They just want to explore lava. I've seen them drown themselves for no reason. Like, I'm, it, it's strictly just for the meme. I, I, Probably, I should probably stop talking. It's, I'm probably just making myself look really bad. Okay, but anyways, now we can actually start on the the real stuff, the important stuff. And I don't know which one I want to start on first. I, I won't lie, I actually don't care to build a starter house at all. Like, I'm actually okay with just leaving my stuff out in the open like how it currently is. But maybe the smart thing to do is just focus on farms and i don't mean like crops i mean like like obviously crops but we make uh, animal farms we start on a gravity block farm which i need to go and find the stronghold for that one which that just makes it very easy for me to make concrete which i mean when i don't need it it just makes things astronomically easier maybe what we need to focus on first is actually villagers because as much fun as it is playing with, you know, iron tools. I actually really want to get to maxed out diamond and netherite stuff like really fast because all of the stuff that I have planned, like there, everything is just uh, going to become very massive and I kind of need to get like very powerful tools to do that so we can do it really fast. Especially if I'm to actually go out and like collect all the sand and then, you know, make it into concrete. It just, it, everything's very expensive. It takes a very long time. We also need to make a mob farm. Really need to make that so I can get a lot of bones. 
because I need a lot of bones for white concrete. Even though, like, I know I'm not going to get it uh, to this episode, but I think I do want to kind of copy the hardcore series on the main channel. And I want to make uh, the buildings out of concrete just because it just it makes things look very clean and very nice. But we don't have to use white concrete. I could build with another color. So what's a main color concrete that you'd like to see for the buildings? And what's like a secondary and possibly a third color? Like a secondary and like a third, thirdinary? I don't know what to call it, but like what, what's like like the, the other colors that you'd want me to use for the buildings, like the adjacent colors. So what we should do now, since I need to prepare for mega buildings, because I kind of just want to jump straight into those instead of just building like little tiny buildings for everything and then having to take them down in the future. Kind of want to skip that part. So let's see, where do I want to put villagers are very loud and annoying. I actually don't want them near my stuff. So maybe we build it over here. And then I'm going to have to make it very massive because we're going to be needing a lot of villagers. I want to make some villagers that'll do some automatic farms for us. I need to make an iron farm, need to make all of those trades. Plus, I want to be able to trade for everything because we are going to be getting a whole lot of rotten flesh. Now, I'm pretty positive this actually prevents any villagers from going out. I don't think that the baby villagers can actually fit through that. So we should be good with like, I mean, that in the least weird way possible. And this should be completed. Like, this should be completely good. Oh, actually, let's light up this. Okay, there we go. So there should be no dark spots in here whatsoever. Those precious little angels shouldn't be scared by anything. Plus, they'll just make iron golems, so I shouldn't ever have to worry about anything happening to them. And, okay, you know, I got a decent amount of wool, so we should be able to make a few. Okay, I'll take five, why not? That's why I got you guys, though. So we will have to make a sheep farm. I want to fill up this entire place with beds. I want to have just a lot of villagers so we never have to wait for any of them at all. So now that that's done, let's actually make a, like, a, a standalone area for the sheep. Now, let's see. Hmm. I'm, I'm just trying to not do any terraforming. Like, I really don't want to touch this land whatsoever because I don't know what I have envisioned for it yet. But let's go over here and we're just going to clear out some space. One thing I do know that I want to do is get rid of all of this. I hate grass. I hated it whenever Mojang actually added it into the game. I remember seeing that update and just not liking it. Only thing that this stuff does is just get in your way and block your view and it's just annoying. Woo, so much better. And then I'm feeling generous, you know, we can give the sheep a lot of room, why not? And then, there we go, because that's so much easier than actually making a fence gate. And then this should make them completely safe, so come here. I still can't believe that one chicken egg actually spawned in four babies. That, that is incredible to me. Like, actually, it's not even a sarcasm at all. Okay, so do I have any wheat with me? Uh, cool. Okay, I got one, so that's really bad. We are not off to a good start, which there was some hay bales or yeah, yeah hay bales back at the village up there, but eh, I don't really feel like going up there and actually getting it. Plus, it just it doesn't matter. Oh, nice. Okay, we can make two more beds. And you know what? We should actually just go and start on the farms right now. Um, God, what would be a good place? So I don't want it too far from the house so that then the crops are constantly growing. Honestly, right here is a pretty decent spot. We do need a lot of space because I need to make carrots, potatoes, and wheat immediately. Like, I, those three crops are heavily needed. So I think if we actually just go around and start clearing up some space here, we should be fine. Yeah, because this is a lot of space. We just... It, it is going to be a big boy, though. Oh, this is actually really painful to terraform without a maxed out shovel. <laughs> And then I would love to do my little cinematic shots, you know, like the replay mod and then just have this speed along, you know, and just have like a pretty montage for you guys. But I can't have that mod with some of these other ones enabled. And I personally enjoy having the distance mod and a few others in here. I believe the carry on mod as well instead of just having that replay mod. So very sorry, no cinematic stuff for this. Okay, so we'll do terraforming later on. I don't know how much space I'm actually gonna be needing, so we'll just start the farm now. But another thing that we need to do very soon is actually make a um, an iron farm. Either make an iron farm or we need to go mining soon because I am almost completely out of iron again. And let's see, I think roughly here's a good spot. So we go like one, two, three, four, 
Or, yeah, that's good. Okay, so. And then I think it was on the fifth one because water should be able to go out four blocks. I think it was four, not five. All right, nice. But before I go and do all of that, since we have so many animals around here, I'd much rather not have to redo my farm because they're definitely going to come over here, walk over everything and jump on it. So let me encase you in a fence. Oh, thank God I had the exact amount. Okay. Oh, yes. And my sheep are done. So let me go and make some carpet. Just realized how difficult this is going to be to get in here. Okay, good. Without stepping on the crops. Uh, Yeah, probably actually should have given myself like one little block of room. <laughs> And then I'm actually shocked that I don't have enough seeds for that. Uh, yeah, let's actually go make more fences. I, I actually want to give myself some room so I can jump inside. I really don't want to have to, like, keep on replanting crops. There you go. Okay, much better. Now, next up, since that farm is not completely done and I don't want to have any of this grass, so please don't tell me that you're thunder. Let's go around, collect some more of you. I don't think that's thunder, right? Okay, good. Okay, perfect. Now the next thing, God, because this, because uh, everything's coming down to a waiting game. But the best part is how this isn't a 100 days, so like, you know, I could just AFK here, and then I can just have these grow over time, and then we can start the other stuff like right after that. I'm just trying to think. Oh no, no, no! We should actually just immediately start on the next farms. Like, I, I need to get all those crops growing. I'm a little tempted to build a second wheat farm like right next to it. I feel like that'd be very smart since I'm gonna have so many villagers and I'm probably just gonna be giving them bread. Maybe the carrots and the potatoes too. But then I have so many animals that are also going to be needing all of that wheat. So I feel like we should make a second one. I just wanna speed through all of this boring stuff as fast as possible, you know, like the beginning of the game. I also really wanna figure out how do you get saddles? And then very luckily, we're at least over halfway done with that wall. We could actually just go move in the villagers. Probably should. Plus, then they can start on making iron golems. And then, you know, it could become an iron farm. Just a very slow one that I also have to tend to and actually, you know, kill them. Oh, but actually, if we start... Oh my god, I can't believe I saved myself. If we actually start on the villagers right now, I can then immediately... I think I actually want to make the first few villagers handle the crops. I kind of want to automate that as soon as possible because it would be very wise to have our crops just be automated immediately just so that they never just sit around fully grown because I'll probably be doing some other stuff. And there you go. You can't open it. Okay. Doesn't look like you can. He's just going to stand right there and look really sad and pathetic. <laughs> right, come here. Come here. Yeah, fine. Look, you have freedom! Alright. Okay, perfect. All of you are actually moved over. And then I should probably just give you this bread instead of eating it myself, but oh well. I kind of wish that we could actually give villagers like a steak or, you know, cook pork chops, something like that for them to breed instead of just like vegetables and bread. I feel like it's just a lot easier to get uh, animal meat than, you know, the vegetable stuff. Maybe, actually, no, never mind. Cross that, uh, blah, 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 never mind. And then in case you're wondering what all of those words on the screen just were, yeah, that's the distance mod. Isn't it fun? <laughs> Does that nonstop, I love it so much. Okay, I think I talked myself into it. We should definitely make more wheat farms like i at the bare minimum we need to make one okay i'm gonna attempt to hold out on actually going mining i i think we really need to actually focus on just setting up everything in our base right now instead of going and doing that stuff so i just yeah I mean, I'm, I'm gonna try and hold out it's gonna be tough though oh my god yes again the perfect amount yes i'm a very simple person i know like i i actually get excited <laughs> by stuff like that, it's so sad. Okay, I think this is pretty decent. Made it, you know, hopefully not too annoying to get in and out. But can I, oh man. I really wish that you could place torches on top of carpet. Not gonna lie, it doesn't really make sense on why they don't allow it. Like, I understand why mechanically, but I just, I, I don't know. I don't get it. Okay, but we really need to focus on getting more of those seeds. And I still have so much of this ugly carpet to get rid of. Oh my, carpet, uh grass to get rid of. Ooh, speaking of this, uh, my bees, where are you? You know what? Here, I know how to get you out. There we go. Oh my god! No! Oh no! Uh, 
crap. Am I able to make them breed? Oh, that's so bad. I didn't expect him to be able to sting me through the door. That's stupid. Come on, come on, come on. Stop being all angy wangy. Come on. Oh no, don't go back in there. I I can't tell if it's still mad or not. Okay, you're not mad. I think the other one went back into the beehive. Oh my God, no. Ah. Literally the absolute worst outcome. Okay, come on, come on, come on before your buddy dies. I was gonna breed them so that, you know, we can have more bees, but now I'm trying to save the amount that I have. Well, goodbye infant number one. Um, that's, that's a good track record. That's really good. You know, I, I guess it's not really a, a sky's world. Cool, well, that's awesome. I guess it's not a sky's world if I don't accidentally kill one of my bees. Same exact thing happened in the hardcore series, so that's awesome. Yeah, because that makes so much sense. So obviously a bee can attack you through a door. Obviously, unlike literally anything else in the game, I I'm pretty sure that is the only mob in the game other than the uh, the big boys, you know, those the big dogs of the raiders you know the pillagers i don't remember what the name of it is i'm not gonna lie but i'm pretty sure that and bees are like the only things that can attack you through doors that's awesome hey what can i say we needed some kind of drama to happen in here we needed some kind of thrill like it's very sadly you know i i feel like let's just get it out of the way very luckily i don't need to wait for the bees to you know produce any honey we just need to go find bees and i feel like i should go do it right now instead of just waiting for uh, the future I think I remember exactly where some bees are, by the way, so we should be good. I'm pretty positive it was somewhere around our jungle area. Like, I think I remember seeing bees in here. Or wait, 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 wait. Okay, we could actually be really childish. Okay, instead of calling the bees infant number one and uh, technically infant number two and infant number three now, what if we just name them boo number one and then boo number two, you know? Get it? Because, like, they're bees. And then we call him Boo. So, like, get it? Like, say, say like, Boo, and then you say Bees. <laughs> get it? <laughs> do, do you get it, Darmix? Like, get it? Because, like, like, Boo, and then Bees. Because, like, you know, if you put it together, like, it's, it's it's the one thing that, like, you know, like, girls have, like, get it? You know, like, hey, okay. So, we got you, so now we can head back home. See, I knew where, like, some of them were. It's just really awkward if you're a couple and then, you know, oops, there goes your partner. Now they're gone. Some, you know, amazing, tall, dark, and handsome <laughs> uh, penguin came by and just stole your partner. Oopsie boopsie. Hate when that happens. Am I right, folks? Okay, here we go. So, boom. No, 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 no. just get in there. Oh, okay. There we go. Phew. Crisis averted. Let me actually go get some flowers so I can at least have a third bee in there so we don't have any more issues. Hi! Okay, I wasn't expecting you. Okay, good, good, good. There we go. Yeah. Phew! Okay. A parrot's on the bats. I mean, it's more of a bee and a bee, but I guess you can call them a parrot and a bat. Okay, but there. Now we can get back to the important stuff, like making more wheat which i don't know why is that taking me so long to finish oh yeah by the way if you're looking for a candy you know like just something to help you by uh, what wait not by d d something to help you with like removing all this grass uh, i just gotta say absolutely love nerds gummy clusters you know, i know it, it makes me insanely random and quirky but oh my god i can't stop devouring this stuff like i heavily stand by this easily the best candy out there right now okay sweet completely done don't need to do anything else however i think while i'm doing all of this stuff which we should probably move them over here i think i'm gonna go through and just make the carrot and the potato farm right now because why not and we definitely don't need to make it as big as this oh, man, let me go through clear out all of this stuff but i'm just gonna go do that off camera uh, i think we get the gist of like how i do all of this stuff i don't think anything entertaining is going to be happening so yep just give me a little bit time to go make more farms never get tired of doing this <laughs> 
this. <laughs> Ta-da! Wow, it does our area look so different? And oh my god, am I running low on a lot of ores. <laughs> So first off, when I was making these, obviously there was a hill right here and I really don't want to go through and like terraform too much, but I'm kind of thinking that I might because I'm starting to get a futuristic city vibe idea for this world. So um, I just went through terraformed all this and I think you'll be proud of me for this. I'm not leaving any holes in the ground or any empty areas. I'm actually going through and completely filling it in with dirt so that then I never have to worry about mob spawning under my base. As much fun as that is in the hardcore series, I don't want that here. And then I just kept on chopping down trees, collecting the saplings from those. I kept harvesting all of the weed over here, which this is why I really want to put a villager in here to actually do this for me because, oh my God, this stuff grows so fast now. And then I just kept trying everything into bone meal. I'm just trying to speed up all the carrots and the potato stuff, blah, blah, blah. But I am incredibly low on ores. I'm going back to stupid stone tools now, and I really, really don't like that. So I think now, like, an actual, like, really good idea of what we should go and do is, one, I should go and make some staircases. But I think we should get on it on our uh, our mine shaft. And then I don't know if you guys remember that one spot at all. Oh God, I don't even know if I remember it. But there is that one uh, abandoned mine shaft. Oh God, uh, it might be over here somewhere. Oh God. All right, meant for that to happen. I was checking out the safety features down below in case if I did that for real in the future. Oh, that be, yep, this is going splendid. If I were a giant hole, where would I be located? I could have sworn, like, it should be around here somewhere. Oh, wait, I think this is it. There it is. Okay, so, oh, God. Oh, cool, and the enemies are already awaiting for me. Okay, the goal is, I think, a three-block-wide staircase, and then we're just gonna make it so Oh, my God, we have to make this, like, so winding. Uh, oh, God, and I really don't want to put down water because I don't want to mess up anything down below. God, how am I gonna do this? Uh... Uh, oh cool, yay, please, I hope that you wait there the entire time for me to get down there. God, it'd be so lonely if you weren't there, you make me feel so comforted. This is so difficult. <laughs> uh, uh, there's no room, and then why, oh my god, now you're actually coming towards me. Okay, you know what, I was, I was trying to see if I could do it without doing this, but no, we, we have to terraform, this is, this is getting a little bit too tight. What? Pause. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you able to get up here? Whoa. Chill, chill. No. Oh my god. This is not the horror series. You can calm down. Okay. Okay, how far can we... Oh, okay, you're not even that deep. Okay, so we don't even need to worry about... Oh god, I didn't bring a bed. Oh, oh god wait but i have items down ah oh, no i can't leave these okay you know what if this destroys anything then i'll well oh wait 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 okay here we go oh, okay phew don't need to put down water i didn't make a bed oh my god we're actually far from the house oh god there's gonna be so many creepers up here oh no no oh my god no 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 phew okay much better. Yeah, let me make another bed. I accidentally gave mine to the villagers. Would be very important for me to actually have this. Oh god. Oh my god. Uh, stop! Ah, this isn't fair. I don't have a bow yet. God, I want to find iron so badly. I don't want to use stone tools. Oh dear god, this is going to be such a fight to get down there. Oh, no. Ah! All of the uh, the rails down there, that's gonna be awesome for us because I I can actually, I think I'm gonna collect all of those that I can because I can actually use that for our future transport systems. There you are. God, I was wondering where you were hiding. What the? Oh, dude, oh my God. I, I actually completely forgot that I installed you. Holy, I don't know why. I thought it was like a baby zombie going through puberty coming at me. Like that, that was wild. Uh. Oh my god, I wish I had raw iron. Even that's not bad, actually. Oh, here, we can actually make some uh, emeralds just like that. I don't care for all of that. Uh, interesting. God, I would love to have that. 
an efficiency six. But let me actually go get some gravel for you. That's a very nice trade. Okay, come here, come here. There we go. Okay, with you, boom. So now we got 36 flint. Honestly, we should probably not need like any more for quite some time. That's insane though. One turtle egg and I get six emeralds. One clay for two terracotta. Like pretty decent trades. I just really, oh my God. I complete. I didn't even realize that one, but there we go with that. I now have 60 copper ingots. Honestly, didn't even need that whatsoever. And very nice. I, like I love that mod so much. These definitely like, very cheatsy, you know? It feels a, a bit like cheating actually using him, but at the same time, it's just amazing to actually have the options to be able to trade all that stuff. Now for here. So since enemies could just like come by like the left and the right, you know, and just always jump out of nowhere and attack us, I think the best route that we can go is just using fences. It'll look pretty decent with everything keep enemies at bay, you know, like, well, we'll be nice and safe, but I should really light up these areas too, because yeah, even if I make it safe for myself, I kind of don't want things to spawn here. Is there a zombie spawner down there? Why are there so many of you guys? Okay, come on. Hi, this is why I'm trying to build a very nice, safe staircase down there, so I don't have to worry about green wieners coming after me. No, Shrek, go away. Stand down, Hulk. Am I able to pick you up? Oh my God, I can actually pick him up. Huh. The only bad thing is that he actually does despawn, so I can't even, like, keep him if I wanted to. Hi, it's actually the next day, and, um, so I, I didn't mean to do what normal YouTubers do, like, I did a little bit of off-camera mining. So, first off, let, let's just start over here. So, I'd have to constantly go over here and get some more oak trees, so I wanted to make a bridge, but because this bridge, you know, uh, over this river is actually kind of connected to, like, a main river system, blah, blah, blah. I just wanted to make sure that I could actually go underneath this with a bridge and not suffocate myself. So made it super high, lit up this island a little bit. And then I made this bridge system so that then we can go around here because everything was like very, very tight. And you know, I just, eh, I didn't like it. So at least now we feel a little bit more civilized. Then I wanted to attempt to make it a little safe because a lot of zombies and skeletons and creepers like to come up from there down below. So at least this way it kind of prevents them from like coming at me a, a little bit. Then you're going to notice all of this forest because what I'm about to show you took a metric ton of wood. So I just went around planted like 80 trees. I want to say about like 80 or 90. Then I went around and I kind of raised up the fences a little bit just so things couldn't like jump over or shoot at me really, especially right here because oh my God, what I'm about to show you. When I say that this took me two hours, I get, I'm not exaggerating. Like, the two hours includes, like, the bridge upstairs, the forest, and then making this. There were so many skeletons, so many zombies down below. Like, it, see, there we go. Yep, he's already coming over. So I had to raise it up like this just to kind of prevent skeletons from shooting me. And then I had to raise up this so that then, um, you know, monsters can't come over there and jump down. I then lowered it all the way down here. I had to mine out this entire wall so that we can go down here. I had to do a lot of little bridging just to actually like place all this stuff. It, it was a tremendous amount of work. I hope you guys are proud of me. So I attempted to make it look a little beautiful. You know, it's all right. It's not bad. It has character, which I really appreciate. I'm also incredibly tired of stone tools because yeah, they're very slow. So we desperately need to get some kind of ores of which, wow, now we can go down here to our lovely mine, which we should really make a minecart system, which, wow, would you look at that? Actually just you can actually shoot over that. Okay, I'm not raising that anymore. But wowee, would you look at this? There's uh, rails all along here. But very luckily, I didn't loot this place. I didn't look through here. I just placed on some torches and then I stopped. And especially since now that I actually have storage, we can continue play- Oh god. Oh my god. Okay, that is literally the worst thing that could happen. Gee, I wonder what's right there. Don't blow up. There we go. We can bully and edge the creeper while he stays right there and doesn't come at us. Okay, perfect. Um, hi, can you stay right there and like not do anything? Thank you. Okay, yep, I heard you. I heard you though. Aha, uh -huh, you didn't get to sneak up on me. 
I'm better than you. Okay, let's break you very fast, which with a stone pick... Oh, okay, it's actually not that bad. Okay, phew. Okay. I think there's another spawner this direction. I'd actually be very surprised if there wasn't. There is another one. Okay. It's just very far in there. Oh my Jesus Christ. Hi. Ah, dang it. I hate being poisoned. Not like anyone actually enjoys being poisoned. Okay, 10 seconds. But I think it would actually be really smart for us to just collect all of this string. One, so I can finally make a bow. Two, we could make some fishing rods. I tried fishing. I've never really gotten into that in Minecraft. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay. The worst part, though, is how this is going to break my iron sword, but whatever. Why does it sound like they're behind me? No. Okay, you're through the wall. I'm not crazy for thinking that a mineshaft should have ores, right? Because we're not finding anything. Oh my god. How much do you guys need? How far does this go? Come on. I'm gonna take up my iron sword and my stone sword that I just went and made? Like, come on. Whoa, this place is deep. Ooh, but there is iron. Oh my god. It just keeps... Is this natural? Like, is this actually, like, a thing? I've never seen... It, it's still going. It's... It still goes. I have so much string that I can't carry anything else. Uh, screw it. Uh, drop the potato. Whatever. You know, here, maybe I can actually use the lava to help me get rid of all of... Oh, because it goes right into another spawner. That's why there's so much. There we go. There we go. Okay, good. It actually does get rid of spider webs. Oh, this is a weird fight. Okay, that was a little bizarre. Okay, finally, no more spider webs. Now I can actually move around and attempt to find something. Okay, so apparently it's actually going to be very, very difficult to find some iron in this world. So, God, like I'm trying to think, like, is it smarter to do like a food farm with the villagers or should we just immediately go into an iron farm? Because I seem to be running out of iron insanely fast. Like it seems to be very, very common. Plus, since I do want to have rails going all over my world and like creating actual uh, like moving systems, like, I don't know, highways if you want to call them, it might be smart to go for the iron first since we're going to need it to be going for quite some time. Because I'm going to be needing a lot of it. Whoa. Oh my god, that's cool. Okay. Okay, we're, we're getting to some unique places. It's finally starting to get some character in here. So here, I think what we're going to do, let's just mine up these little uh, rails right here. I see some iron, and then honestly, after that... Instead of getting, like, super distracted in here and just spending a lot of time mining... Oh, God, of course you're gonna fall down there. I feel like we should actually just head back to our house. I think it's actually gonna be smart to just immediately start on an iron farm with the villagers. Plus, I'm now out of torches. And I... I think I remember the way back to our house. Oh, my God. Okay. Nope. Nope. <sighs> okay. Ooh, that actually could have gone bad. <laughs> with how I was looking, I, I probably could have died right there with how far I kept hitting him. Okay, so let's see. I remember it was like, here, go this. No, nope, not that way. Okay, we're already lost. I really, really want to go to that one. Oh God, I actually really want to go to that, that little goblin trader. Because I think I can trade him the iron ores for iron ingots. You should be about here. Just please stop running from me. Thank you. Okay, you. Thank you. Yes. Oh my god, we have 46. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'll just do as much as I can hold. Uh, but could get more emeralds. I think we should. I think that's smart. Let me get some coal. Okay, let me trade some of the apples. Let me do all of the... Oh, <gasps> sponges. Oh, yes. Give me one. Uh, is there any way for me to get more emeralds? Not unless I go and I mine more cobblestone. Which, I I'm okay. We don't need to. I... I can make one sponge work. Hi. Why are you here? I don't like that. Hi. No, it's okay. You, you don't need to come up here. It's okay. There we go. That's why I made all of that. I could carry him with me, actually. Actually, wait, wait. That That is so smart. Let's do that. I'm going to be... Uh, uh, no. <laughs> no. Okay. I need to figure out something that I don't care about holding. Honestly, maybe the, maybe the bow. Maybe the bow. I think that's okay to drop because I need to have an open hand so I can actually carry him. 
Guys, please come here. I need to kill you. God, I wish that he would just come over here and make it so much easier. There's always so many zombies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was worrying that this would go really fast. Oh, okay, that's good. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Really fast, really fast, really fast. Where are you? Okay, I got him. Oh my god, that's a creeper. No, 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 no. There we go. What? You come with me. Okay, let's go. Uh, is it nighttime? Awesome. Okay. Please do not disappear, little buddy. Uh, I think we're safe. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, that's... I guess that's adorable. What are you, a cat? Here you go. Okay, let's just skip all the enemies. I don't care. Run back home. We are in... Kind of shambles right now. But very luckily, I think I actually have enough iron to make iron armor and all iron tools. Like, I actually think I can. Okay, now, if you very hopefully don't despawn, I'm hoping that you'll at least stay here for a little bit. All right, please, some oh my god, I have like nine. Uh, I. Okay, barely was able to do that, but I sh Yes, okay, I can- That was it? Wait, oh god. Ah. Uh... Do, 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 do. Uh, is there anything else I can sell you? God, I really want those on breaking five? No, that's four. Breaking three? Wait, oh, yeah, because on breaking three is the max. Gotcha. Uh, bucket of puffer fish. Wow, this sucks. <laughs> it's like really sucks. At the very least, I got four sponges. Like, it's not the worst, but it's not the best right now. Uh, I'll take another coal. Do I have more of you? No. Okay, well, that sucks, but, you know, we can only cheese so much. As for iron, since I was very luckily able to, like, double it, and you know what? Here, we don't- we don't need to use up our stone tools. Don't care for those. I need to make more torches. God, we're so low on coal. I might have to get into making charcoal. Phew! Amazing! Okay, hey, that was very successful to me. Uh, we now have full iron everything, so we're not going to be insanely weak. Again, even though we're not in hardcore, really doesn't matter, but I'd much rather not die. And then, let's see, do I even have enough storage in here to put it all away? No. 100% don't even worry about it. We are most definitely going to be making an auto-sorting system. Like, I heavily love those don't want to do this stuff like i don't want to have to go and get organized we should probably start on the bamboo farm probably should start on this one but i am most definitely going to be making an auto sorting system which that'll be fun those are always enjoyable to make and then it's gonna lag my world out i wonder oh god wait no we can't i was gonna say i wonder if i should make the auto sorting system in the end so that then it doesn't lag the overworld, but... Yeah, because then also I would have to make my base somewhat, like, right next to the stronghold, or else that's going to be incredibly tedious to go and put stuff away. Maybe we make it in the nether? Like, maybe? But I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know. We'll think of something. Because, I mean, I could just add a mod, like, maybe the create mod, to where I can actually make an auto-sorting system that doesn't lag my world. Or maybe there's a mod that makes, um, hoppers not lag. That might be a possibility. Oh my god, wait, I don't have a stone cutter. Uh, okay. That's a little... Hmm. I feel like we need to explore then. Yeah, okay, at least that way should protect things from going into the lava, but at least now we actually have um, a little trash can. That doesn't mean that you should walk in there, just so you know. Okay, oh wait, all of that string. Here we go, okay, we're gonna like really jumpstart the villagers. So, make that, and then we make that. I know I said I was going to use the string to make a bow and some fishing rods, but oopsie poopsie. That, boom. Okay, so we can at least make ten beds, so not the worst. I need to remember to keep one with me. Beautiful. One side completely done, starting the other. I... Can you even get through this? Are, are you able to? No. Okay, good. I am smart. Well... I mean, don't mind me then. I guess we should go check out that village because I do need to get a stone cutter. And as much as I would love to make my own, I just love stealing from villages instead because it's just so much easier. <gasps> oh, wait, I, I'm not even exaggerating. I actually really wanted that. I think that'd be really fun to place around, like have like a clock. Oh, maybe in the uh, the mine shaft. 
be somewhere like oh like as soon as you reach the uh the bottom half then you have like the clock right there so you can at least see what time it is down there i think that could be fun <laughs> i'm not crazy to think that there should be iron in here right god it's just copper god i wish copper actually had a purpose because it's still just so useless <gasps> oh bees huh i mean it'll be nice once i get leads i'm just trying to keep my hands empty so then once we get to the village i do plan on bringing one of the villagers back home okay come on baby please have a lot of wheat uh some some hay bales on there. oh my god i see so many already okay good don't even need to finish the sentence i want a whole lot of hay bales in there i want a stone cutter a blast furnace would be greatly greatly appreciated same with a smoker both of those are just kind of annoying to make i should really make a hoe yeah Okay, here we go. So at least now with the hoe. Oh my god, that's so much faster. Because I'm going to be collecting every single hay bale in the village just so I can feed it to all the villagers, have them start going. Oh my god. I have to say, the hoe is probably the most underappreciated and like unrecognized tool. Especially if you put on efficiency and I believe silk touch on that. And then you go to like any tree or if you go into the nether, just how fast you can harvest all of the foliage and this stuff. Let's see. Actually, let's, let's collect that. It'll be smart. Oh, hello, beautiful. I don't know why I'm excited about watermelon. I, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Ooh, that's also really good. One thing that's not good is that, of course, this is gonna be a village that just has, like, nothing that I need. Ooh, thank you. That's actually nice. Okay, you guys aren't completely useless. So I want to ask you guys a question about this that I also asked in the, uh, the horror video, like the horror series on the main channel. So do you guys like the slower kind of paced videos where, like, there, there's more, like, quiet time? Oh, yeah, it's a saddle! Like, oh, hi, Jesus. Like, there's more quiet times. It's easier to digest, you know? It's not so rapid TikTok kind of edit. Like, do you guys like this more, or do you like the older style more? Where things are super rapid. Because me, personally, I'm starting to enjoy the slower, laid-back kind of pace. Where we also include, uh, we call it dead space, you know? Where, like, I'm just not talking. Wait, why am I not collecting the chest? Ooh, also, let me take you. Wow, that is a tremendously good house. Man, who who would not want to live in there? Oh, these are beautiful mountains. Oh, I like these. Okay, I think I went through and I actually looted up everything, which this place was really pathetic, can't lie. So I still want to go out and exploring, but let's see. God, all of you have jobs. Fine, here, I'll take you at least. Okay, it's gonna take a little bit, but don't worry, buddy. I'm gonna bring you back to an amazing place. It's so much better than this town. Like, you have no idea. You're going to be enslaved. <laughs> You're going to be hired with a union. Yeah, and HR. Just like my editor. <laughs> Love you, darling. <laughs> I swear to God, it's been sunset for like the past 15 minutes. This is such a weird day. Okay, now don't go anywhere. Okay, oh, okay yep, I already want to hit you. No, stop moving. No. Just sit, okay? Just, just relax. Enjoy the journey, okay? You don't need to do anything. You don't even need to think. Actually, wait right there, okay? I want to kill the chickens. There we go. Ah, penguins on top. Hi, where are you going? Actually, wait. Oh, let's sleep. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop moving. At the very least, when you sleep in Minecraft, it's not like other games to where, like, entities will move around in game and, like, stuff kind of fast forwards or else then this villager most definitely would have just hightailed it away from me for no reason as well. Like, I don't know why a villager would ever want to run from me. Here we are. I almost don't even recognize my base because of all the trees. I guess what I have. Ooh. I have... I'm, I'm not going to continue that. Never mind. <laughs> not not going to continue that joke. Uh, here. Oh, actually, wait, wait, wait. Okay, let's go make a lot of bread for them. See, I'm kind. Actually, wait. We need to clear up our inventory. God, I want to find a uh, smoker. Like, really badly. Oh, wee! Oh my god! Oh my shahish! 
Okay, that may- Oh my god, that is so much bread. Holy... Okay, I, I can't give them all of this because there's no way I have enough bread. Not bread, enough beds for all of that. Like, there, there's no way. Hello, I'm very generous. Why do you guys want to leave? What This place is amazing. I don't know why you guys are like, Oh god, it sucks in here. Please let me out. But okay, there you go. There's a lot of bread. That can now start. Next up, okay, well, oh yeah, 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 I did bring a donkey in here. Donkey or mule, I honest, I can't tell the difference on this game, and I'm pr- No, there actually, there are donkeys and mules on this, I just, I don't know the difference. Isn't a mule a horse and a donkey combined? Isn't that how that works, but, anyways, okay, so let me start with the, no, okay, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you, I'm so sorry. I like your health, you seem very tanky, I like that. Please love me. Please love me, please, please stop, please love me, please. I can get you a dragon. Oh man, okay, I thought that was gonna work on it. There we go. Okay, so if I put you on... Like, you're not, you're not bad. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty bad, I can't lie, but... Uh, this can work. Okay, let's try out the other donkey. Oh god, okay, so you have less health and you're astronomically slower, so never mind. Uh, god, is it... I, I just, I want to be, like, very certain that I'm actually using the right, like, type, you know? But, I... I mean, I know the donkeys or mules, like, they're not fast whatsoever. You do not use these for speed, you use them for the storage, which... How do I do that? Oh, just like that? Okay, sweet, okay, a few. I was worried that I would have to, like, breed you with a horse and, like, make a mule or something. And there we go, okay, see? Like, it's not, it's not bad, okay? It, it could be a lot worse. Like, a lot, lot worse. Next up, do I feed you with apples to heal you? Let me actually look this up on Google. Oh, okay, okay. This is actually really cool. So, apparently, donkeys, and I'm pretty sure this is the same for mules, is that they can eat sugar, hay bales, apples, carrots, golden apples, golden carrots, blah, blah, blah. Like, basically everything. So, it's super awesome. So right now, I have a donkey. This is actually the slowest of the three variants. So a mule is the one where you breed a horse and a donkey together, which I definitely want to do because then, you know, it'll be faster, it can carry stuff. So I definitely want to make a mule, but I don't want to get into it right now because I think for us to actually make, like, the fastest mule possible is ten and a half blocks per second. And I know, like, maybe know how to, um, set up, a, like, a little testing quarter so we can actually see exactly how fast the mule is, but that, it's just gonna be so much work. I don't want to get into it in this episode. Maybe in the next episode, because that's actually gonna be kind of important for us to actually have, you know, transportation stuff, because this is so much faster than running. This is incredible. One thing that I just realized, I don't know- oh, okay, actually, no, no, we need to test this out. I don't know if I can carry something while riding the mule. And since I don't have a lead, this is actually very important. So here, if I come over here and I pick you up- Oh my god. No way! Oh, yes! Okay, so I think it slows down the donkey, but what we can do then as well- <laughs> This is gonna be kind of like cheating, but I can make an- I can get another donkey or mule, whatever, put a chest on them. I can carry that while riding this donkey, and then we can have double the storage as well. Like, it's totally cheating, but it is a possibility. But it might also be annoying because then I think it slows down the donkey, and then I'll just have, you know, a donkey's butt in my face all the time, so I don't know. But this is actually incredible. I've never, I don't think I've ever once in my life used a donkey, especially a donkey with chest. I don't think I've ever done this once. So maybe this series is, you know, uh, about me doing like a, a lot of the things that I would never do because, you know, the elytra literally ruined everything. <laughs> The elytra ruined everything to where minecarts are useless, horses, mules, camels, everything's useless, boats are useless, so uh, we'll see. Uh, I, I want to make a lot of fun highway systems and, like, make some cool things. The one thing, though, is that I wish that you could actually swim with horses. Maybe not donkeys, I don't know if they're good swimmers, but, like, I, I wish that they would actually allow you to swim with them. Okay, so let's go towards the beautiful mountains, and then we're gonna check on top of this. So then, we can actually see super far out, and very hopefully there's going to be a village near. 
My god, you cannot jump. Oh my god, this is so much faster than walking. I love this. No! No, there's snow! Oh, I can never escape it. It's everywhere. It's always coming for me. Pause. Oh, I see a village. It's just astronomically far. Okay. Like, I don't see anything over there. Okay, yeah, that's actually the closest village all the way back there. Oh my god, that's a, uh, that's a mushroom biome. Oh my god, we can actually get mushrooms. Oh, that, that could be pretty huge. I mean, like, I'll never need them because, you know, I have all those food farms and I keep on killing every single animal I see, so, they're, like, they're not entirely important, but, you know, it's cool. Like, if I feel like, you know, hating myself, I could collect every mob in here. And I, a lot of emphasis on hating myself because, oh my god, is that so unfun to do. Woo! Hello there, beautiful village. You actually look pretty promising. You look pretty huge. Not that, like, okay, you, not huge. Like, you, you look pretty normal, you know? Like, it's not a bad thing that, like, like you're huge, you know? <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Just so I don't need to chase you around, uh, let's put the donkey in this. I'm here, boy, because I don't like it how you just wander around. I really wish that I had a lead, but for whatever reason... How have I not had one wandering trader yet? I'm just going to leave him in there so he doesn't wander around and get lost. Oh my god, please have something here. Like, actually, please. It's not funny anymore. I I'm going to take all of the hay bales from here, at least. But it's like, please. And, uh, oh, you... No. No. Okay, let me take this again, because you're a little expensive. Let me take you, because I want all the chests. Oh my god, you're fast. Jesus. Dang it. Okay, well, at least we got some emeralds from that. Please, I don't want to make those blocks. Uh, I know, like, I, I could have made all of them already. Like, I'm just wasting time by, like, traveling around and doing all this stuff instead of just making the blocks, but I'm, I'm stubborn. Okay, if you... If you've been watching me for a while and you haven't picked up that I'm stubborn, then I, I don't know what to tell you. Please! I mean, that was actually kind of nice to get all that food stuff, but like, please! Okay, this isn't good. Literally, the only thing that was useful from this village was just those emeralds and then all the hay bales. That, that was it. Uh, I feel like we should just continue exploring. I mean, I got the storage for it now, so why not? Okay, let's continue traveling. Oh my god, that's so nice. Like, look at that. He can hold my entire inventory. I love this. Well, since I didn't see any other villages and I refuse to go into the snow, maybe our best bet is actually traveling this direction. It's just going to be so much fun to get back home. <gasps> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I, I didn't mean to hit you. I was trying to hit the pig, but here you go. Here, let me let me heal you. I'm so sorry. No, my baby, please don't run. Please, I, I love you, but not as much as the mule that I'm about to make from you. Is that weird? Actually, this... This is really bad. Uh, I think that's actually a village right there. I'm actually, like, somewhat positive on that. Um... So let's see. I don't think there's gonna be anything on that island. It's not looking promising. Oh, sea turtles. I wish I could just put you in the chest. Like on the donkey, it would actually be kind of nice. <gasps> oh my god, okay, that, that could have been dangerous. Oh my gosh, this terrain is so unique, I love it. Oh wait, this is actually so much nicer. I don't even need to get off my donkey. Oh, this is cool, I've never done this before. Hey look, I can outrun the little baby zombie. See you, have fun burning up. Your life was for nothing. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, so no matter what, we have to make a very far swim. Which, okay, we'll do that in the morning. Oh, guys, just make a boat. It'll be so much faster. Shh. Oh, thank God. Please, dolphin, please. Please help me. Thank you. Oh my God, I love you. So does the donkey that's riding me. I, I guess that's fair, you know, we, we like to trade off. 
It's only fair. Oh man, okay, that was brutal. That took the entire morning just to come over here. Oh my god, so much faster now. Definitely need to make a bridge, like an ice bridge, all the way over to this island. I got, I want to make a lot of those throughout the entire uh, world. Okay, we didn't have a good run last time, but I'm hoping that this Savannah Village actually gives me uh, the items that I need. And you know what? Here, I'll be very kind. I, I already just saw one in there. Oh, let's go. No. Oh my gosh! Yes. Okay, we got a smoker. Absolutely amazing. Love that. Those are all slabs. That sucks. Already love this place immensely. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Okay, that one's also amazing. And don't mind me. Let's actually steal all of these bookshelves so that we can make more lecterns. I don't think it's a surprise at all, but I am most definitely am going to make all of the villagers to just buy diamond armor and tools from them. I feel like that's just like a more fun way to get uh, diamond armor and tools. Like, you know, we could go mining, but it's like, ugh. And it's totally not because I just really don't want to mine because I know that my luck for finding diamonds is astronomically low and it would take me forever. Not the reason whatsoever. Yes! Another one and more books. Thank you. All I remember about books is that they're a little tedious to make, so don't mind me. I love being lazy like that. Ooh, I I think I'm also going to take the carpet. Why not, you know? I, I actually have some uses for that. Okay, hello there, boy. Do I have a whole lot for you? That can all go there. My word, we have a lot of stuff. Okay, so not doing too bad, you know? We got the smoker. I still want to get a blast furnace, a stone cutter. I think that's it really, but I want to explore more of this part of the world. I have a feeling that this is not the only village here, so yeah, no, we might as well. So if we go over this direction, I want to get to a higher point, very obviously. Oh my gosh, it's so much faster to kill all these animals when you're just technically on horseback, you know, like, I don't know, like donkey back? That doesn't sound right. I feel like so much more of a menace. See, it actually is a, a mushroom island biome. Very nice. So we're a little bit higher up on a mountain and it's not exactly looking good. I mean, we have a lot of pretty areas around here. So you know, that's, that's appreciated. Oh, okay, wait, wait, there's another village. God, I really wish that I could actually have like other types of villages than Savannah biome ones. Like, it would be greatly appreciated because I know that the Savannah ones is not going to have everything that I want. I don't think you can actually get a blast furnace from the Savannah Biome Village. Yeah, I mean, you know, we could just keep traveling out there in that direction, but at some point we do need to head back home. You know, it is it is a lot of fun, you know, exploring the world, but um, yeah, this is actually going to be a little bit of a hassle to get back to our house. Like, I, I somewhat know the direction. Maybe. I mean, like, kind of. Ooh, actually, since I do need coal, before we go back, since we have, uh, I, I'm pretty sure this is a Stony Peaks biome which okay there we go see finally my world is acting pretty normal but yeah let's definitely collect all of the coal that we see around here because i desperately need this okay can you not go away no no it's okay for you to stay you know close to me actually no 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 that's gonna hurt you just just stay right there bud okay so i went around most of this place i got like almost all the coal that i could find and we now at least have two stacks of that so i'm comfortable going back home oh actually no 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 we still need to go to that village over there completely forgot about that but yeah at the very least we have a decent amount of coal because i think i have around like 300 or 200 pieces of meat to cook i don't know how i obtained them like i just kind of found them but yeah we have a lot of cooking to do Ooh, one farm i really want to make that i think i've done it once but i really really want to make a um a wither skeleton farm I feel like that's gonna be really nice because then we can just get unlimited bones and we can get unlimited coal okay then we're just gonna store you in here please don't hurt yourself come on man come on Okay, you're missing two hearts now. Wait, no. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, this is getting really awkward. There. 
Does that heal you up? Okay, there you go. Saying he loves apples. At least, no, he's not dying. Hello, beautiful. Don't mind too. God knows I'm gonna need it. Now, please, like, it, is it wild to, you know, oh my God, you guys just have so many of these little cartographer people. Like, is it crazy to ask you guys to get one blacksmith? Like, just one? Uh, I mean, sure, you're insanely cheap, but I'll take a fletching table, why not? Ooh, thank you, I love all of those. Wait, this is actually a really unique building. One, thank you for the third one. What in a unique building? I've never actually seen a little butcher's hut before. I didn't even know that that was vanilla. Get out of here, get, go, get. Thank you. Oh my god, there's actually another village. I don't know if I should keep going to all of these villages, though. I mean, you know, we, at least I don't have to, like, showcase everything in, like, a 100 days video, but it's just, there, there's so much. Okay, I think I've checked this entire village. I'm, I'm like, a little certain on that. So, let me go back to my donkey. I need to have a name for the donkey, and I feel like the best way to do that is whatever top comment. I'd say, like, the top the top comment that can make me laugh or gives me like the best idea to do for episode two, I'll name the donkey after them. And speaking of donkey, hello boy. Okay, so here's all of that. Clear up the inventory a little bit. Okay. Uh, but I guess since that one village is somewhat, it, it's at least in the direction of our home. I'm pretty positive our house is that way, which it's, it's gonna be easy. I just need to run back to like zero, zero pretty much. I think it's like negative 300 in, and then 80, I think was our home. Oh, that actually wasn't even that far of a run. Well, it's a little bit of a tight fit. Please don't take damage. There you go. Okay, I'll be right back. Ooh, thank you for the emeralds. I'm actually a little happy that I came over here. Oh my God, this place is huge. Okay, this might actually take us a little bit of time to actually search this entire place. Which, the, the place, it, it looks a little promising. I'm at least finding a whole lot of stuff. Oh my god, you guys have so many hay bales here. Okay, a little disappointing, but not the worst. We did get some more, yeah, kind of some more blocks that we wanted. Checked out this entire place. Let me grab you. Oh my god, I am starting to get so full on. Inventory space is getting a little... A little much, but very luckily we do have our mule. Okay, but anyways, I'm I'm kind of turned around now. Uh, let's see. We need to head about this direction. Okay, roughly roughly this way should be our home. Don't worry, donkey. We're going to get back home. Don't you worry. And then you can take a nice break because after this, I think we need to completely focus on villagers. I kind of just want to see what's over this hill, even though I already know it's going to be another village with my luck. And then I'm just going to have to try my absolute best to not go to it. I actually don't know if there is a village out there, but oh well. Okay, we need to head back home and... Oh god. Uh, we're making a boat. <laughs> I'm not swimming all the way out there. Oh my god, it's a pink sheep. Yo, it's a pink sheep! Um... I would love to bring him back home. You know what? Here, we're, we're gonna we're gonna do this, okay? It's a little cheaty, but we're gonna kill him or her, and then we're gonna bring the pink wool back to the house. And then what we're gonna do is one of the sheep will just dye him pink, you know, and then we'll just throw away the wool in our inventory. And then that way it's like we just transferred the spirit of the pink sheep into one of our sheep. You know? And then in a way, we could just call the pink sheep Kenjaku, which I know like maybe three of you is going to understand that reference. You watch Jujutsu Kaisen. Or read it. No, Darman, it's cool, okay? You're just not hip and you're not into awesome things. You just like blame things. Oh my god, why are there so many animals here? Did I just disrupt a meeting? Like, am I gonna have a horde of 500,000 animals come to my house now? And then before anyone asks, like, yeah, I probably could have brought in that pink sheep back to our house, but I think I need the space on the boat for the donkey. Like, there, there is probably a way in there somewhere that, you know, I could have, like, held one of them and then the other one goes in the boat, you know, like, yeah, there, there, there is something there, I think. And then we'll have this nice boat color and then we'll just leave it at our base so we finally have a boat to start traveling around. Ooh, I wanna make a cool dock. Really wanna do that. Okay, so let's see. Can I push you into the boat? 
Okay, what if I get into the boat and then... Okay, wait, wait, wait. I can do this. Okay, wait. Oh! Oh my god, it actually works. Oh! Okay, it, it just looks really silly, but I'll take this. Like, this actually works phenomenally well. Okay. And then let's see. The house should be roughly this direction. I actually think... Wait. Is that another village or is that my house? <gasps> oh my god, there's a water temple. A uh, water temple. There's a guardian temple right there. <gasps> Dude, if that's actually my house and there's a guardian temple right there, oh my god, we can make a farm. And then we can get all of those water blocks that we would need to, like, you know, if I wanted to make the auto innator, which I don't. Oh, let's go. Please tell me that that's my base right there. I think it is. Like, I actually think that that's my house. We were relatively close to the water. Or... <gasps> yeah, 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 because there's the, uh, the savanna village that we traveled to. So that right there, that's my house. Oh, that's incredible. Okay, we just need to remember that there's a guardian temple right there. Yep, there's our villager hut. Aw. And then what we'll do so I at least know where the guardian temple is, I think it was... I, I think roughly that direction. I think if we were to head like right there, we would hit it. So there is that. And hello, all of you. Uh, there you are. Okay, now... God, how am I going to store you? How do you even make a lead? Isn't it just string and bamboo or something? Cool, okay, so we haven't unlocked it yet. But I, I swear my life to make it, it was like string and a lead. Like, I, I don't think it's actually that expensive or that difficult. Now, anyways, okay, so we have so much to put down. You can go there. Uh, let me put the smokers down, which honestly, let's just put down all four. Oh my gosh, we have... So much food to cook. All four of those are taken up, and I still have food left over to actually cook, but we're just going to wait for those to free up. Okay, we have quite a bit to put away. Wow, we have a lot of leather now. Okay, we're, we're actually pretty wealthy you now. We are pretty well off. Um, I really don't like you. Oh my god, okay. I really don't like you to wander around. Uh, you know what? We're, we're just going to store you with a sheep for, for right now. I feel like this is a like an okay spot for you. Hopefully you can't get out. So much bread. Oh my god. Oh, this is... This is so much. Okay, here. If you're curious about how much bread, uh, we have that much bread. We have over an entire line. For sure. No, 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 that's column. Okay, so we have an entire row. Like, oh my god, we have so much to go through. See, it was totally worth it because the fact that we went out, wowee, I have seven more potatoes to put down. Like, that was worth it. <laughs> if you're curious about the time frame, I'm pretty sure we were actually traveling around our, uh, our planet, you know, for 10 days? I, I think it's been 10 days. And then also, I think it would just be really smart for the donkey to hold all the apples. What? I go with you. Let me do some chores. We really need to chop down all of these trees. We have so many. Oh, I can't wait to automate you. So this is why I like automating everything in Minecraft, because there's just so much to do in the beginning. If you somehow manage to get your way in here, I will kill you and every horse around my house, just so you know. Okay, phew. Well, that's done. I don't know. Yeah, we don't need to touch the bamboo. That's fine. Oh, I can't wait to automate this as well. And then honestly, here, we'll just keep all of the wheat so we can actually uh, breed the animals, which I should go and do that to the sheep. Okay. Phew. Ooh, then let's go check on our villagers. I'm curious how many babies popped out. Not bad. Okay, so we have a ton of children now. That. Okay, wait, that's weird. Okay, uh, we have a lot more villagers now. There we go. We also have an iron golem in there, so we have technically an iron farm right now. I think next episode, I think we're going to immediately start on an iron farm just so I can, you know, get that going because God knows I'm going to be needing so much iron for this world. And I think we'll start on the uh, the trading hall, like the uh, the out uh, the temporary one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, one thing that we need to do for the bees, even though like it's not exactly set up how I want it, but here, let's make some campfires, which I don't remember how to do that at all. I think it was like you need a log, coal, and then sticks? Sweet. 
Okay, I need more. Okay, I think we just need four. Okay, bees. Need you guys to be smart here, okay? Don't attack me. There you go. I'm getting away from the door. We're not going through that again. Imagine, like, somehow they figure out how to open up the door, and then they come out here and just kill me. Like, you could see him right there. They really want to get to me. They are not happy campers. Ooh, nice. And this is why I love smokers. All of the meat is now cooked. Of which, I don't think we have anything else. Very nice. Okay, let's see. You guys still ingy wingy? No, we're fine? Okay, cool. Let me grab these. Then, let me break those, make them angry again. Then, we can make two more honeycombs, or uh, beehives. Yep, don't worry. Whenever you want to calm down, I'll come inside. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We also need to make some trap doors. I really, I don't trust bees. I don't know if they can actually harm themselves on the campfires. Like, I, I've never wanted to test it out. Uh, we'll just make ten. I don't know how many I need. But I really just don't want to test it out. I, I would rather not find out if they can actually unalive themselves on it. Are you guys okay now? I can come inside. You're not a little grumpy wumpies. I think they're not grumpy anymore. Aw, look at that. See, you guys are, you know, sane. Okay, uh, darn, if we just had one more. Okay, once you guys go inside, then I'll set up all the campfires. I should really make this place bigger. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that next episode. Okay, there we go. Finally, now they're not going to be all pissy at me whenever I harvest. <laughs> it was me. I think we had a pretty decent start, you know? We got a lot of the animals. We have our awesome transporting... It's sort of in a way like a bus, because, you know, I can store things in there. We got our farms going starting on the villagers we have our mine shaft all the way down there you know i i, I think i think this is a pretty decent start um do i want to go around and remove all of this actually no i think we should go around and just start removing all the trees we need to make a designated area for our uh, tree farm i don't want to have all these shadowy areas right next to our house because i'd rather not have things spawn here and blow me up ah oh, so much better you see we can actually see stuff yeah, God, like I know at the beginning I said I don't want to terraform, but maybe we do light terraforming around here or maybe I just terraform the entire base because looking at this, we could do so much more if I were to like flatten out some of these hills, you know, so well, I'll, I'll see what you guys say. You know, I, want, I want to see some input on this. I think we've done a decent job for the first episode, so I hope you guys are excited for this series. I promise, maybe, that this will be a long-running one. I want to do a lot of things in this world that I've always wanted to do in Minecraft Worlds, but I just, you know, never progress far enough in a series on the main channel to do it, because, you know, it entirely depends on views. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Next one should be coming out in two weeks. So, like, every other week, you guys should have an episode on this. B should. And I will see you guys next time. See ya!